what's going on guys i hope everybody's doing good welcome back to the channel now i've had some people ask me if i could make a video on how i'm editing my videos so i thought i'd go ahead and do that today now first off i want to show you this is how i screen record my videos this is obs uh, if you guys want to also learn how to do that just make sure you leave a comment down below and i will show you guys how to use obs and how to screen record on your computer completely for free let's get into how i'm editing my videos so what i use is CapCut. i click on CapCut, and this is CapCut for desktop the first thing you need to do when you br when you open up this window okay you just go ahead and click on new project when you click on new project this is the window that CapCut is going to open up and this is how you're going to edit your videos right now we are under the media tab right here and as you can see right here it says import so the first thing that you need to do is actually bring in the video that you have made i'm going to use this video just for this tutorial to show you guys how to do this so once you import it here's your media that you've brought in okay but in order to edit it we need to bring it over here to the timeline so you can either just click this plus sign or what you can do is click and drag it all the way down here to your timeline. So now before we move on, I wanna show you this button right here. It says, turn off main track magnet. All right, so I just wanted you guys to see that real quick because if you're, if you're getting confused as to why you can't keep a clip right here or right here or wherever, and it's automatically pushing it forward, it's because of that button right there. It's hard to show you guys an editing tutorial if I don't know what stage you are and the video editing process so as far as like your skill level or your experience level now as you can see right here you have your zoom in right here your zoom out and your zoom in okay so when you go to edit i always like to zoom in and see what it is i'm what it is i'm doing and what i'm working on you can see where there's talking on the bottom is the audio as i drag the slider right here you'll see that this is all silence. Normally what I do, I, I really stick to like very basic video editing, okay? I don't spend a lot of time on the video editing because I'm just doing screen recording and you could spend tons and tons of time editing your videos, all right? You could get lost in it, you know what I mean? Like you could really get lost in it. I wanna show you guys, it's just a simple way to remove what you don't want so the first thing i would do is drag my slider up until the point where i start talking and then i'll click on the clip now if you come up to if you come up to this split tool and you click that it'll split that clip right there right here is the undo button so you can undo it just like that now if i click this one that's right next to it this is the delete tool it's going to delete everything to the left of that up until there's a split. If I click that, boom, it just deleted everything to the left of that. Right. So that's just a simple way to, to delete stuff. Instead of having to right click the clip and then come up to delete, it's just a little bit faster than that. Okay. So next I want to show you the volume controls. You can either just, you can either click and drag this up or down or if that's too difficult for you guys, just select your clip, come up to where it says audio and click on that tab, okay? And now right here where it says volume, you can either increase it, decrease it, or you can keep it at the level that you recorded it at. So when it says zero, that's at the level that you recorded it at. So just a real basic way to increase your audio. So the main thing that I would be doing as far as video editing, I would just be going through and deleting all the silence because the best tip for you that I have is and it comes from me learning from experience because a lot of people have commented on my videos saying like oh you take too long to explain it you talk slow <laughs> which is is very true the main tip I would tell you guys is that especially if you guys are screen recording or if you guys are doing like a talking head type of video is to just make sure you go through and delete all the silence because you want the video fast paced, all right? 
to try and keep people's attention. I'm trying to talk a lot faster and keep a fast paced video because I realized that when I go back and I look at these videos, I'm like, dang, they're right. I'm talking so slow and it's taking forever. It's no wonder that, you know, people only watch a little bit of the video and then they're gone. There's so many things that I could cover that it would just take forever. This would be the longest video in the world. Now, by the time that I'm done, there should be no silence. Honestly, you guys, that is like the number one thing I do as far as video editing, because like I said, I try and keep it super basic and super simple because I'm not trying to spend so much time editing my videos. It takes too much time and I just don't have time to do that. Okay. So say you wanted to like make your video go blue like that or whatever. You can literally just click these effects, drag them down to the timeline. Say you guys want to put in some video footage, like some stock video footage you could come over here and click on library if you're under the media tab you can click on library and they have all these different stock video clips okay so you can also search something up or whatever you want but this is how you could put like a little intro on your video while you're talking so if i click this and i just drag it in now we have this video over top of this video okay so let's just click on this clip right here. We'll come up to the audio tab and under the volume section, we'll just click on the volume and drag it all the way down. Okay. So now you're not going to hear the volume on this clip, but you get to see the visual of it. And you will also get to still hear the, the audio from the screen recording that you did. But the only problem is that most of these are, you will notice that there are a ton of results on here. Okay, so now we have a nice little intro video with a visual for you to look at. So say you start off your video and you're just talking, but you don't want it to just be talking. You want something, some type of interesting visual to go along with it. That's one of the ways you can do it. You can go up to the media tab, click on library, and you can always search up here and type in whatever you want, or you can just start scrolling through. Okay. When you find something you want, you just click on the clip and you drag it, drag it into the timeline. Okay, it's just that simple. Now you can always you can always add effects to these video clips as well, like I just showed you before. So if you want to add an effect to this, let's go back up here. Now you'll be able to see this butterfly. So we can apply the butterfly. We can put it directly on the clip, or we could just add it to the top of the timeline. Okay, so that's just a simple way of adding some effects into it. Say you wanted those automatic uh, captions that you always see. A lot of people use that style where as soon as the video starts off, you can see the, ca the captions popping up on the screen really fast. You're going to go up to where it says text at the top. Okay. Come over to your left hand side and you're going to see auto captions right here. Click on auto captions and you're going to leave it in English unless you're speaking a different language, but I'm going to leave mine in English and I'm going to click on create. Okay. And now the beautiful thing about CapCut is when you do that, it's going to automatically analyze your whole video and it's going to listen to what you're saying. It's going to create captions to everything that you said in the video, which is, which is really, really cool. So just like that. CapCut has analyzed the entire video and it's created and it has created all these captions for us. So now you're going to see a tab that says animation. This is going to animate the text. And when I, when I say that, what I mean is when this text pops up on the screen, it's not just going to pop up. It can, you can make it do different things. This effect here, it's called expand. It'll make the text look like it's getting bigger. Say you only want maybe three words to show up and you want to split this into a into another text box. Okay, so what you could do is come over to the captions right here and select what you want to edit. And you could just put it right before garbage and you can click enter. Okay, and now it's automatically made and now it just created a different screen for that one. What else? Okay, so also you guys can click on transitions up here on the top. And you can add in a transition anywhere you see a split in a clip. So here's a glare transition. We could drag that down. Let me just, so I just added that transition in. Now you can watch it. 
noticed that there are a ton of results on here. Okay, so a simple little transition just like that. So yeah, anytime you have a split in a clip, you can click on transitions and you can just drag one of these transitions in that you like. And now let's say you want to add in a song or sound effect. Let's say right here where that transition happens, you want to add in a sound effect. So we could just type in what type of sound effect you want. So maybe you want like a burning or crackling sound effect since that transition is like a glare flash type of thing. We could just type in maybe something like crackle and you'll see all these options that come up that have anything to do with that word crackle. So that one sounds pretty cool and that might be good for a, for a glare transition. So let's click on that cracked shell one. We'll bring it down and we're gonna drag it down till we get to the timeline down here. And let's add it in. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what's going on so I have a better view of what's going on. And I'm just gonna see where this audio starts right here. I'm gonna drag it over so that the audio is gonna start right where the transition starts. Now I'll drag my cursor over here and you see this is where the transition stops. Select that audio clip and I'm gonna click on delete right because I don't need anything else after that. I only want this audio to match up with this transition, okay? Just like that. Now let's play and listen. These are, you will notice that there are a. These are, you will notice that there are a. Okay, so now the other thing is you don't want your sound effect being that loud. So just click on the audio portion, the volume, and just drag it down, probably all the way down to about maybe negative seventeen or so. Okay, guys, another thing that you can add in if you come over here to the stickers tab. So you want like maybe like an emoji or you want an arrow or something like LOL maybe. You could just, like I said before, you could just click and drag it. Or if you click on the blue plus arrows, it's going to put it on a track in the timeline. But it's also going to put it in where your cursor is. Okay, so it'll put it right to the right of that cursor. So it's going to put it right here. Now if you want it to come on screen in a cool way, you would select that sticker, the LOL sticker and you come up to animation. So click on that tab. And then when you get to that tab, you could choose either in, out, or loop. Okay, so in would be when it comes onto the screen, out would be when it leaves the screen, and loop is, is just gonna keep doing this, this effect over and over again. Say we wanted it to come in by sliding from the left-hand side, you would just click on that. So like I said before, if you hover your mouse over one of these options, it's gonna show you what it does. Okay, so if you want it to bounce in like that, or if you want it to zoom out like that, depends on what you want, or maybe you want it to spin as it comes in, you could just click on that spin. So that's an easy way of animating your text. Okay, guys, you, you can also say you want to take a screenshot of this image or a high quality screenshot of this image. You know, maybe you want to, for whatever reason, maybe you want to use this right here as your thumbnail or something. Here's an easy way to do that. You can see these three lines up here above your, next to where it says player, you have the three lines above your video. Click on that and you can click on export still frame. Now here you can export a 4K resolution screenshot of what frame you're on during your video editing process, which is really cool. You could use that to create your thumbnails or something. Add it in audio. We added in our sound effect. Now you can also come over here to the audio tab and you can add in some music in the background. Okay, so when you click on the, add, the audio tab, you can just search in any type of song or you could type in up here. You can click on the song to preview it. All right, so if you like that song, you just drag it down and place it on your track, place it on the timeline, and now you can listen to your video. Okay, so now our song is drowning out our audio from us talking, which is not a good thing. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and drag down the audio. I normally keep it around like negative 20 to negative 30 for videos that have talking on it. Okay, so now we have a video clip. We have our captions on there with the animated caption. We got some transitions, we got some sound effects, and we got some music. But the only problem is that most of these are, you will notice that there are a ton of results on here. Pretty much garbage. I mean, you can't really. Whatever it is you guys need help with, make sure you tell me, but try and be specific so I can really address exactly what it is that you need help with. Now, when you're done with that, all you would do is come up to this button that says export. So just click on that and you'll have your video exporting tab checked. You could change the title of your video right here. Okay. And then when you click export, it's just going to save it to wherever this file is. Okay. Hopefully it helps. If it doesn't, let me know what it is that you need exactly. And I will help you guys to the best of my ability. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I hope you guys have a great night.